Have you ever considered a trip to Europe? Have you ever heard of the absurd things to do in Amsterdam? The largest city in the Netherlands offers many unusual opportunities for visitors, but it's real surrealists who end up outdoing most everyone else. If you've already heard of the Museum of Torture, then you should check out a few more offbeat things to do such as drinking tea in a tooth-marked house, or checking out a weed museum, or spending some time under ultraviolet lights. Most of you want to do something different when visiting Amsterdam. In fact, tourism was one of the top exports from this city. Today, we discuss a few strange fun activities that you should experience in the beautiful European capital city. Welcome to Amsterdam. So are you planning on visiting for halls this year? We are going to look at some of the most unusual things to do in Amsterdam. So check back here as you plan your next trip and find our insider tips on seeing what you can't see anywhere else. Discover the Museum of Bags and Purses. One of Amsterdam's most unusual attractions, the Museum of Bags and Purses, has three floors of antique and modern handbags, purses, and wallets. From naughty animal skins to a primitive form of perspex in hard plastic, the shop is designed with style and ethics. Remaining true to its vintage style, Character has an array of old and rare pieces and a variety of charming 1950s handbags. Go fishing for plastic. While Amsterdam is known for its canals, fishing on the canals is an unusual thing to do. You get to see a lot of historic and touristy activities in Amsterdam in the process. There are companies that organize the boat trips and use eco-friendly initiatives such as plastic nets to create a unique touristic activity. The best part of these tours is that you can go anywhere as there are no predetermined routes. The tour is more competitive and engaging because there is a real celebration when someone spots a piece of plastic bag on the side of the canal. When the captain maneuvers the sailing vessel, you angle your arms and triumphantly fish the troublemaker. Be prepared to share stories from your day at sea with other passengers, laugh, and create a bond. Swing on top of the world at Adam Lookout. With views of the city, a cocktail bar where you can enjoy drinks, and a rooftop terrace, Adam's Lookout is an example of a type of attraction that might not appear on the weirdest things in Amsterdam. Despite being attractive, it is still traditional. Europe holds the world's highest swinging point at Amsterdam, with a new and exciting experience that anyone can enjoy for free. Although the experience is brand new, staff members around the lookout point would be offering some trial tests to those traveling. You'll have such a fantastic time that you won't regret it. You'll even get a photo with the swings in the background and then download it or buy a higher resolution upon exit. Have fun swinging so much that wines flood in at noon. So arrive early to avoid disappointment. Discover the tiny universe at Micropaya. If you love science and want to see the museum where new technology is combined with traditional art, do not miss out on Micropaya. The presentations are unique, and the technological pieces are captivating. You could also use the I Am Amsterdam card or an Amsterdam pass to get a discount or free entry to the exhibit. The experience at Micropaya is so immersive and fun that you could spend an entire day here. Scientists who work full-time at the museum are on display with a large glass window for you to watch them work. In terms of the quality of the exhibits, this lesser known museum is on par with the museums of natural history. Honor the feline overlords at the Cat Museum. Amsterdam's oldest cat museum is dedicated to celebrating all things feline. John Pierpont Morgan, a cat who passed away in the early 1980s, inspired his owner to create this tribute to cats. The museum offers visitors an exclusive look into their furry friends and their fascinating past. Today, the Caddy Cabinet is the world's most extensive collection of cat imagery dedicated to cats. You may not be a huge cat person, but those who appreciate the museum find that it provides a fascinating study of Western culture. The museum's founder lives on the upper floors of the townhouse with his cats. You'll notice some of them wandering the museum and grounds. If you are a cat lover, you must visit here. Stop by a weed museum. In contrast to other museums, 
This museum has a unique focus on weed. You won't find another museum in the world that allows you to see and learn about marijuana's history. The Hash, Marijuana, and Hemp Museum go into the past, present, and future of cannabis concerning individual countries. This museum displays antique hemp tools and old smoking devices to teach you about how cannabis has been used throughout history. Adjacent to the museum is a cannabis garden where you can learn the wide variety of uses of cannabis today. The museum has a mission to educate visitors on the importance of hemp, marijuana, and hashish in the past, and how they are still used today. If you plan on visiting Amsterdam, this is a recommended unusual activity. Freak out at the Museum of Torture. The Museum of Torture is a dark and scary display of instruments of torture, explaining how they were utilized throughout history. The museum takes hours to walk through. The Torture Museum displays a collection of items used to cause pain, such as objects dating back to the Middle Ages, when their use as devices of justice was daily. The museum in Amsterdam near the Bloemen Markt on the Singel Canal is accessible via public transportation. The content of this museum includes pieces that make it difficult for some visitors because others might find it too graphic or even emotionally traumatizing. When this museum was first built, they were meant to evoke emotions and open people's minds to the subject matter. But now due to how many people visit and leave quickly, it may not always be the most effective. Enjoy high tea in the smallest house in Amsterdam. What could be more adorable than having afternoon tea in Amsterdam's most miniature house, barely two meters wide? As someone who loves the quaintness and history of Amsterdam, this is a perfect activity on one of the city's streets bustling with culture. The owner of this charming tearroom had a vision and made it real. This house once accommodated a family of five. The inside is like nothing you've seen before, with all kinds of moments to get lost. The first floor is a cozy little tea store, while the second and third floors are ready to welcome you to a tea-infused fairy tale. Many food options, breakfast, brunch, high tea, and even lunch allow guests to enjoy an afternoon or evening without being one-dimensional. The terrace at the W Hotel will certainly wow you. The W Lounge gives a view of both sides of the building, with a great perspective from above. There's not much else to be said. It's all about the views. Dine in total darkness at Cast. A restaurant concept called Sea Taste is easy to identify. It's a large, well-lit room where your servers appear visually impaired. You can get a fantastic dining experience in this setting as you explore the dark and fun restaurant with them. The only video free space in a restaurant is the dining room. There has to be complete and sensory depriving silence inside the dining hall to promote peace and focus. All your other senses will become more alert for your brain to adapt and even taste and smell will intensify. Because you are eating at the table, your palate should feel free to savor the food before viewing it on a plate. Now psychologists are starting to find that people who eat meals with strangers tend to have better emotional responses. Experiencing a new feed with people you don't know can be an exciting way to broaden your thought, especially if you're looking for adventure in Amsterdam and want to try something new. Sea Taste guarantees reservations through their website, which is excellent for those who don't want the whole meal experience. Finally, get groovy at the Electric Ladeland. Electric Ladeland Museum is unique and touts itself as the first museum of fluorescent art due to its opening in 1999. The museum, started and operated by artist Nick Padalino, boasts a collection of natural and man-made models that react under ultraviolet light. It's located in the Jordan neighborhood of Amsterdam. You can see outdoor and indoor fluorescent works by artists. This museum is dedicated to the marvels of fluorescence, located underneath an art gallery of the same name. It was founded by Nick Padalino, who originally started it as a personal collection project in his living room. When entering the basement exhibit near the end of the museum, one is surrounded by otherworldly objects and rocks in a multicolored mixture of light. Besides the main exhibition room, the museum also has an extensive collection of unrelated objects and pieces of rocks that react to UV lighting. 
Seeing boring gray rocks transform into colorful kaleidoscopes under UV lights is surreal. In addition, the museum also has a wide variety of vintage sets for theater productions and other displays that spring to life once the regular lights go down and the UV lights glow. Amsterdam is a great city to explore with some of the best museums in the world and amazing seaside. But when you try something out of your ordinary, you will see not only some of the favorite things to do in Amsterdam, but also how they compare to other cities around the globe. Have fun this week!